more, more, more imaging. Today, we're going to image this classroom as well. Now, I know you guys have seen quite a few videos recently where I've been imaging classrooms, but today I've been focusing on sort of four rooms in a row, and this is the third room out of four. And they've all got sort of this sort of tiered uh, seating setup and about 30, 29, 30 computers. This room has 29 computers. We're going to image them today with Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and Windows Deployment Services as the Pixie Boot service. As you saw before, I'm doing this on my own today. It should take me about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to do 30 computers, something like that. And yeah, I'm just going to speed the video up for the purpose of efficiency as always. And you'll see that the task sequence will run through. All the computers will image perfectly. There'll be no issues whatsoever. I'm going to then use Impero to take over them and uh, control them and just get them set up with like, screen resolutions, uh, various other pieces of software that won't be in the image. And just to check they can log on as a student OK and as a member of staff as well. So let's get cracking. I'm going to start over the left hand side here. I'm going to work my way up to the top, round, a bit like a clockwise motion, and end up down here at 29. Uh, all the computers get named from uh, classroom one to so in this in this instance it'll be iv1 hyphen one to 29 uh, other rooms or whatever will be you know three four five up to seven and they all got the same naming system so let's get cracking and i hope you like the video oh no no i'll stop and and show my crazy madness as always but apart from that let's get cracking with it First things first, F12 to Pixie Boot. All right, guys, as you can see now, all computers have booted up into the pre execution environment. That I've created on the MDT server. Now, what this means is the moment you log in and authenticate now with the domain, you can then image the computer with any of the task sequences that have been designed or created or in any of the images that have been set up. And the imaging will begin. So, this is where you can uh, log into a computer now, give it a computer name, uh, put it in its OU in Active Directory. And then let it image. When it's done, it'll just sit on the uh, log on screen, waiting for its first prompt to log on. And you can use Impero to do that because obviously Impero is built in to the image, so it launches the service the first time it boots up. So that was the uh, easy part: booting them up, getting the Pixie boot running. Now is the hard part, or the more complicated and long, sluggish part: putting your credentials in, giving it a computer name, and then letting it start. Let's get cracking with that then. All right, so once we've okay, so once we've gone ahead and put our credentials in, this is what happens when we click OK. It will log us onto the MDT server and load us up the task sequences that I've put on the server. Now you notice here we've got sort of quite a few in the list here. Some are for testing, some are just playing about uh, and learning, and then obviously we've got this one here, which is the Ivy Sweet Beast Mode Thug Life <laughs> uh, image, which is the one for this particular room or these rooms in general. So this is the process we go through. So let's go ahead and click next. It will then load that in. We then give this computer a name to, to join the domain and the name of the domain to join and the OU it's gonna go into. So we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll put the details in there. So there we go. Domain to join, the OU to join, the computer's name. We click next. We don't wanna change any of the data. Don't wanna restore any data. Uh, we change the locale settings here. There we have it. So, England, United Kingdom, next. And that's it. As soon as I click enter now or click begin, the imaging process will begin. You can click details and it gives you a run through of what you've set there as well, which is pretty cool like that. 
So I'm going to go around the whole room now and just get all of those done. That's the long-winded part of this process. But obviously, you need, you need to obviously give them a computer name that's that's uh, that references the room they're in, and obviously the location as well it makes it easier. But they all need the same thing doing the same process. As you can see there, so we've got like nine minutes left, but it'll be less than that, it'll be more like five minutes. These are about two thirds of the way done. Same for the ones behind. About two thirds of the way done as well. I have to ignore the messy desks, nothing to do with me. Alright guys, so that's all of the computers imaged. I had a little brain fart at the top there, I got two of the names wrong, I kind of just lost it all of a sudden, lost the plot, and uh, one up here failed as well, lost the network cable for some reason, and uh, uh, network connection, sorry rather, and uh, yeah, so leave that as it is now, all 29 computers have been named, uh, they're actually building an image at the moment, so actually uh, imaging, uh, the ones at the front here are almost two thirds done already, takes 15-20 minutes for the whole room, it's pretty quick to be honest. Uh, let's bring you in closer to show you. As you can see, they're all imaging nicely. 10 minutes, something like that, they'll just refresh as they fancy. These two, the ones are named wrong, incorrectly, so they've started last, they're on 8%, 9%, 11%. As you can see, these ones are getting there as well. As are these ones, this is the, going to be the one that finishes last. It's just copying the drivers across now. Okay, these ones are all going nicely. As are these, and these. So what this process is currently doing, is it's copying the drivers across to the hardware first of all, to the drive. Once it's copied the drivers, it then goes ahead and copies across our captured image that we've already created in previous um, times. Copies it to the hard drive. Once it's copied to the, to the hard drive, it will then reboot, unpack the files, a little bit like Windows Setup would normally, install the drivers, and then if there's any task sequences afterwards, it will do them. Alright, as you can see, the front three here are approaching the first log on, so they're stuck on the acceptable use policy for this school. Uh, on, in Piero now, there are two out of the three in that row showing up, the third will come up in a second, and uh, that's just to show that Imperio service is running, and they're almost, almost ready to use. So, I'm going to pause the video now, and then wait till the other side sort of catches up a bit and carry on. So a few on the left hand side are beginning to finish. These ones are catching up now. It won't be long now, another five minutes and they'll be done. So about 20 minutes in total. Okay, I know you guys won't be able to see, but from here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use Impero to um, operate these computers now. So I'm gonna get them all to log on. I know there's a couple at the top that already have, that's because of uh, a keyboard issue on both of them. They're logging in now. Okay, so that one up there, the one that's uh, on a different screen, uh, on the desktop itself without any prompt on it, that one's having a network issue. I think it's because the network cable's a bit dodgy, it's not got the, the clip on it, so it keeps coming loose. Um, as for the others, so we've got a message on the screen to say uh, deployment was successful, let me show you. So all the computers say deployment was successful, no errors or warnings found on any of them. So just that one up there, but that's okay, it's fine, it's image okay. As you can see, the Windows activation box uh, has 
have been brought upon all of them and they're successful in every single one. Probably won't get to see from there. I'm now going to bring up uh, Word, just Office Word, and allow that to run for the first time. And it will activate itself. As you can see, perfect. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot them. They'll join the domain properly. They're obviously pre-staged at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and tell the machines to now restart. They'll all reboot. Just give them a few seconds. And I'll look at these two at the top here quickly. Okay, they're all rebooting now. Those two, just ignore them. They're probably in peer or not updated properly on them or something. They should do in time. Most of them have already rebooted. That's the difference it makes for imaging a computer. Um, every now and then they need doing. They get slower in time. And you know, the amount of kids that you've got coming in and out of these rooms each day, you know, 30 an hour, you know, 30 every hour, you kind of need to uh, keep on top of the imaging. They do get slow. Um, but there we go, this will fix and help that. They will all log in now. There we have it, all logged on the supervisor and our domain administrator accounts. Swanky. They look great, don't they? Fantastic. So we're going to push out a piece of software now, like an updated piece of software that is in the image but needs to be replaced with a newer version. As you can see, those two there you can see are in Piro issues because they haven't actually uh, logged back in. They haven't been like detected on the system. They just need the uh, software updating on that, or the client version. By the looks of things, they haven't for some reason. Could be network issues, like I said, on the machines. Okay, let's go ahead and push out that software. Okay, as you can see, it brings up a piece of software on the screen. And uh, all we need to do is run a Mimic script on this to tell it to install. So it's as simple as hitting enter. Simple as that, really. And then enter to finish. So all apart from one should restart. He says, we'll see. Okay, as you can see they're all booting up nicely, rebooting around, we'll log them on as a student now just to test that they're okay, they should be fine, don't see why not. Much quicker and snappier after the uh, re-image I have to say, makes a heck of a difference re-imaging every turn, or every year at least. Beautiful sound, beautiful sight. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so let's get into the internet. Check they all have internet access. And there we have it. All machines can access the internet. Brilliant. Okay guys, we're going to conclude there. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and keep sharing and subscribing to me all the time guys. It's, it's really appreciated. You know, these videos aren't easy to make. They do take a bit of time. And yeah, they're worth it. They're worth watching. It's, it's good to learn. It's good to understand other places as well. And I like helping you guys out, and I like showing you what I do. So uh, this is this is how we're doing it for now. We'll be moving to the system centre uh, sometime next year. Uh, the whole network's going under uh, uh, an infrastructure change, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see. So keep tuned for the videos in the future. Thanks very much for watching, and all as always, see you next time. If there is a next time. Ha, ha, ha.